Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Don Victor. I'm over in Portugal right now, so I'm coming to you live. Well, live right now, but um, uh, later I'll be live too. Um, <clears throat> in Portugal right now, I came to do some lectures that I started about a year ago. Uh, actually, right after I did my first uh, uh, tutorial Tuesday with Catherine. And, uh, and so here we are a year later. <clears throat> we've expanded, we've grown our academy. Uh, we have a bunch of students, a lot of uh, great artists coming through. Uh, they're making more money, they're getting into uh, making awards, um, but more importantly, as an artist, they're feeling very, very fulfilled because they finally feel they have control uh, over their design and their composition. And so the premise of <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing with you guys today is uh, pretty simple. Uh, when you have a business, uh, there are three key areas to that business to make it profitable. There is uh, your process, that's how you run your business. Um, there is your people, the people who help de that you delegate or you manage. Um, also your people skills, which are very, very important. Uh, and then the other part is your product. You know, So they always say uh, in the capitalism, uh, you've got to build a better mousetrap. And so that's what we're going to talk about today, is building a better mousetrap, okay? Um, I don't want to be rude, so let me take my glasses off, even though the sun is shining beautifully today. Um, <clears throat> so we want to build a better mousetrap. In this case, our mousetrap, our product, is a painting or a work of art, a sculpture, whatever it might be. And the best way to uh, improve it is to compose it better. And that's what I want to bring to you today. So, there are three outcomes that I uh, am hoping for and, uh, and expecting uh, from coming uh, and spending some time with you today. Uh, the first one is if you have a project that, <clears throat> excuse me, that you want some feedback on, go ahead and I'm going to put a link in this uh, little post and I'll do it again throughout the day go ahead and click that link that will send you to my uh, Don Victor art uh, Facebook page I want you to send me a message with the uh, with the image that you want me to critique give you feedback on okay then I want you to come back uh, to Catherine's page and uh, post the image so that everybody can see it all right uh, so I want you to post it twice, one for me and one for uh, the community. The reason why I want you to do it in my messenger box is because messenger has these beautiful annotation tools and I can draw on top of it very, very quickly. I can add a couple um, uh, notes to it and send it right back to you, okay? I will also then post it uh, later throughout the day uh, on Catherine's uh, feed so that other people can, can, can see what we're doing. So that's the first outcome. I want to be available today to help you solve some problems. What do I mean by problems? You know when you're standing in front of your painting and you know something is not right, but you can't put your finger on it? 95% of the time, it's a design issue, a composition issue, and I'll be able to spot them like that and give you a solution, and, uh, and you'll be able to rock. Rock! Okay? Um, the second outcome is that if you have any questions, please, Leave your questions uh, here in the feed. Um, and the questions can be on composition or design, but it can also be uh, things about confidence or certainty or sales. How do you sell artwork better, you know? Uh, obviously, our focus is if you compose it better, you'll sell it better. Um, but also uh, creativity, you know? Uh, how, how do you come up with an idea? If, if that's important to you, uh, ask those questions and then we'll reach out and uh, uh, answer them. So just leave your questions there. The third outcome of me being uh, with you today is if you've been struggling with, uh, you know, with your art, trying to, you know, your artistic voice, you feel like, you know, you're putting your, your, your you're putting your time in there, you're, you know, you've gone and you studied these things, you went to college or, or not, or whatever. Uh, maybe some of you, um, life happened, so you deferred your your energy, you know, your, your, your passion. And now you're at an opportunity in your life where you might have the resources and the time to actually go back and, and kind of find yourself again, you know? So, uh, you know, the kids are out of the house or you're retired, whatever it might be. And so uh, with that, if you feel that you need some tutoring or some mentoring, 
we have those solutions available, okay? And so uh, I'm going to put together a really beautiful offer for uh, Catherine and, and the group here. Uh, so I will share that with you guys later in the day. Uh, but today, in the next 24 hours, be ready to take advantage of the offer because um, honestly, composition and design, knowing, becoming self-aware of who you are so that you can communicate more authentically, uh, you have to understand that design is actually the language that the visual artist speaks in, okay? It's not color. Color is... is a... All right, I'm back. What I was saying was uh, that design is the language that we're using, okay? If you if you see a beautiful scene in, in, in this beautiful colored photo or something and you convert it to black and white, it's still going to be very powerful. And so that tells you that color is, is, is beautiful and amazing, but it's not the language that we speak in, okay? Uh, mediums are not the language that we speak in. All throughout history, mediums have changed and evolved. I mean, even color and paints and, and things like that are not really that old. Um, so, you know, a lot of what we look at as, as, as paint, uh, painting and, and the colors that we use came really from the auto, uh, automobile industry, uh, and then artists adopted it from there. So, uh, we have to figure out what is it that, that, that artists do? You know, and we communicate. That's what we do. And we have this beautiful ability to go deep inside of ourselves into what we call the invisible or the realm of the light. Uh, and, and, and spend time with those muses. Spend time with that energy. Spend time with those ideas. And then we have the, the, the privilege to come out of that space back into the visible place. And back into the, the realm of what we call the rainbow. Uh, the realm of, of, of constrictions and restrictions and and walls and def definition. Um, and in there, we have to try to translate what we experienced in the place of eternity, in the place of perfection, into a place over here. And so what we strive to do is we try never to be perfect. We just try to be great because perfection doesn't exist in the realm that we live in. Um, that exists in the other other space. So we don't drive ourselves insane trying to be perfect or being a perfectionist. We want to be great. We want to be great uh, people. We want to be great artists. We want to be great husbands and wives and uh, fathers and mothers, uh, brothers and friends, lovers and whatever else, you know, but we want to be great and that's what we strive for. Uh, and that's achievable. And what's beautiful is to be great is achievable over and over and over. You can live a life of many, many moments of greatness. Uh, you will never have a moment of perfection. It doesn't exist. And you just drive yourself and everybody else that you're in relationship with and crazy over it. So uh, at the Academy, we strive for greatness, not perfection. Um, and that's what we're really, really great at doing is making people great. So if you want to become a great artist, we know how to get you there. So. Again, that offer is going to come a little later today. Um, go to, click the link to, to send me your, um, your artwork so I can then uh, give you some feedback on it today. Also put your questions in the comments and we'll go ahead and uh, respond to them as well. So today's going to be an amazing day. Good morning and get ready. For some of you, today your life will change. You don't believe me? Talk to me in 24 hours. Bye.